Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Amber the Happy Homemaker. Um, today I am doing another DIY project. Um, this is a coffee mug holder um, and I am building this because I started collecting the Ray Dunn mugs and um, I wanted something that I could display um, and put them on. So what you need for this is a 7x7 seven seven piece of wood, a 6x6 six six piece of wood, and this will be your base. Um, and then a dowel of some sort. Um, the one that I have is like leftover railing that we had from our porch um, and it is cut to a 12 inch piece. So I'm using my E6000 to kind of glue everything first down together so it's got a stronger bond. Um, and then I glue the dowel to the center of the base um, to kind of hold it there just to give it some more durability. Okay, and I just let that sit there for a little bit to kind of hold it together. Um, I'm using my Waverly chalk paint. The dark is an elephant and then the light is ivory. Um, and if you saw my three tiered um, video, the DIY project I did with that, I'm using the same technique. So the dark base um, is the elephant and then I will lightly go over it with the ivory. Um, so it kind of gives it a more distressed look to the wood. Now with this base coat, because it is darker you, than the actual wood tone, you want to um, make sure you have a good coverage um, so you're not seeing like the wood kind of peeking through. Okay, and after that dried, um, that Waverly chalk paint dries super fast. So probably within the hour I was putting this top coat on. So it's with the ivory again, like I said, um, and you just wanna very lightly brush it on so you're kind of seeing the darker tone or um, color come through the white or the lighter color. And I do recommend if you are going to attempt to do this project that you leave the um, dowel sit on top for a little longer than I did. Um, it did end up coming loose, um, so, but I fixed it at the end. It was just, it made the painting a little harder to do because um, I was having to hold it down. So I'm just going to use my A6000 the glue again to reattach the base. And then I got two inch wood screws um, to nail um, to the bottom or the go through um, the base to the dowel. I 
and I'm not going to lie, I fought with it for a while because I was a little impatient to wait for the glue to dry. Um, so, but anyways, the next step would be um, I had got these like two packs of these hooks um, at Target, and I believe they were two something a piece, so not really expensive at all. And I just wanted to line them up, two on each um, or opposite sides, so you end up having four hooks to hang four mugs. So um, this was much better than um, putting the bottom screw through the top. So. <laughs> And then I just got some decorative knobs um, that you would just use for like a dresser or whatever. Um, and it's just a little glass knob that I glued to the top. And then I hung my new mugs up and it worked perfectly. I thought it turned out so cute. So anyways, if you liked this video, please make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.